What's happening everybody, it's me, it's the Bean, and you're watching Bean Screen TV. In this episode, we go back to Everglades City, and we go fishing with the owner of EFC, Everglades Fishing Company, Captain Jimmy Wheeler. Check it out. So the first spot we went to was really close to home. We just wanted to get some rod bed in action, catch a couple snooks or maybe some reds. We got to a red hot snook bite. As soon as you cast your bait right against the mangroves, you had to snook on. Got him. Oh, little snookies. Little snookies. Oh. I will say it's the first snook I hooked on the bean pole. Oh, really? This is the first snook on the, on the bean pole, Jimmy. I'm going to have to hook. Look at this guy. Oh, he's beautiful. I love that color. Yeah. Look at that. That's pretty. That is gorgeous. That's a pretty snook right there. Great way to start today. First, first cast. First couple minutes in. There he goes. EFC bub. Gotta come, gotta come right to the boat. Nice and easy. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. so. whoa. Every go. cast, every cast. Boom. What was that, big snook? Oh, oh, man. Yeah. It's a spunky guy. Really? It's a sneak. Circles, man? Oh, yeah. We wanted to work that spot a little longer. Fortunately, the mosquitoes were so bad. Flat, calm day, no wind. They were horrendous. We hightailed out of there. We said, we're going offshore today. So the plan was to go out there, look for some permit, sight cast for them on the surface, maybe find some cobias around there too, and whatever else you find out there. As soon as we set up, put a couple flat lines out, he hooked a little baby cobia. He's got oh! <laughs> and we made a friend pretty quick. I think his name is Steve. Steve Huff came up fired up, banged against the boat, giant Goliath, maybe a 400 pounder, at least 350. <laughs> yeah. And that Kobe almost got got. Steve definitely wanted to stay close to us from that point forward. So our Goliath grouper friend was hungry, so we decided to feed him. And uh, Ash has never caught a big Goliath grouper before, so we said, why not? We'll give them both a workout. You gonna catch that fish, Ashley? Come on, girl. I hope so. Uh 
probably 20 miles. Look at that. Out. Oh my. <laughs> Baby, let's get a let's get a crap out of it. Woo -hoo -hoo. You want the boga grip? Yeah, yeah. And that should end up being victorious. Show that Goliath Gripper who's boss. So after Ashley gave that Goliath a workout, it was on to the main goal, and that was to land a permit on the bean pole. You're on. I'm on. I am on. I am on. That's <laughs> permit on the beam pole. <laughs> Can it be? Can it be? No. Oh no! No! Freeze pull. Let him do his thing. I'm gonna do it a little reverse trick. All right, the shark's away from him. Look at all these oh here. Oh my god. Oh my Unfortunately, the sharks were so horrendous this day that we saw a couple bull sharks on the tail of my permit. Oh, look at all the sharks. Ate it. Crushed it. Sharks Shark, are on sharks him. Sharks are on him. Look at that shark. Two of them. The sharks were too thick. They got to this one, so we had to regroup. Right there. Oh. Big tarp. At this point, the perma really spooked out. So we couldn't get close enough to make a cast from the beat pole. So we switched to the regular rods, where you can definitely get a good casting advantage. Got him. Got him. Got him. People call them fancy jacks. They take off long, fast runs. And it's even more beautiful when you're hooked up to a permit. Look at that. A Florida fishing product doing its work. EST bub. He left me the leg though, look at that. <laughs> All right. That's Beautiful perfect. fish. Wow. Boom. Look at that. We came, we saw, we conquered. Here we are. Oh, he's ready. He's ready to roll. Yeah, this fish felt definitely bigger than the first one. Definitely has some more shoulders. He took longer runs.
very good. 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 Very Yep, we're going to send him to go hang out with his friends. I don't think that perm wanted to go back in the water. I think that perm wanted to get back in the boat. He said, don't put me back in here. I mean, the sharks were horrendous on this day. It was terrible. A lot of times where we're at, these sharks have a group of cobia hanging around them. And you know what? As long as that cobia is from the dorsal and pectoral fins of the shark and further back, they can be buddy buddy. But as soon as that shark sees that cobia right in front of his face, they ain't friends no more. Cobia. Sharks just turn on him quick. Get ready. <laughs> Yee -hee! Yeah. Might as well get a cane pole at that point, right? <laughs> Jimmy had a big bite on the bottom, horse it in within 10 seconds before he could even grab a camera to record. And it was a big, beautiful snook. And of course, the sharks were right behind it. It's mad. Look at that shark. <laughs> look, look, look at the second one. You took their dinner. <laughs> we weren't ready for that. We were ready. I, <laughs> I wasn't ready for that, but that's a big offshore snook right there. Look at that. Let's give it away from these sharks. Sharks are in the circling boat. They know he's somewhere around here. He did that sound. <laughs> he gone. Look at look, look, look. That is no joke. Look at him all go. Look at him all go. Oh, dude, he's under the boat. No way. That's Kobe. No, dude. There he is. There's your snook. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude, he got him. There's not a problem with the shark population, I promise that. Jimmy, how do you feel right now? I feel sad. We drove away from the area to what we thought get away from the sharks, and I guess they just followed the boat. Unfortunately, we went to go send that snook down. He went to go swim straight down to the bottom. But all of a sudden, he shot right back up, guessing that shark's already down there and cut him off. He shot right back up to the boat, hit our boat for a second. I guess they pushed him out and they blew up and ate that fish. We hate to see such a beautiful quality game fish get ate by sharks like that. It's really a big heartbreaker. I mean, that's probably a breeder snook right there. Shortly after Jimmy landing that snook, he hooks into this beautiful red fish and I mean, same thing as a snook, he got it to the boat within 10 seconds. And it still, within that 10 seconds, came back with nothing but the head. We definitely have a serious shark problem here in South Florida. At this point, we are fed up. So we get the Astrid to take care of it. Just like she took care of that big bully Goliath, she took care of that big bully bull shark. Astrid is just fighting sea monsters today. Astrid versus sea monsters. Oh, it's a good sound effect. That's a big, that's a big one. <laughs> Look at the size of that, huh?
That's a good one. <laughs> she bullied the bull shark. Oh man. There you go. Look at that. That is a, a big Juan. <laughs> Astrid! Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Sea monsters, Astrid versus sea monsters. Look at Cobia. <laughs> the, the Cobia is like stuck to him. <laughs> wow. After witnessing that beautiful snook and red get ate by sharks, we just want to have fun, so we just grabbed some big poppers, just watched a bunch of jackabells and big barracudas chase the poppers in, along with all the sharks, of course. If you're in Everglades City, be sure to check out Everglades Fishing Company's shop. They got some really cool clothes there, all the bait tackle that you need. They also have Nelly's Corners Cafe, where Clay will be in the kitchen. Everything he makes is from scratch. All right, folks, that's it. I'm done. I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for all the support. Make sure you smash that like button until your finger breaks. Make sure you subscribe and comment below what do you think I should try to catch next on the bean pole? And don't forget, we're here in the off season down here in Island Rada, okay? I'm still guiding out of Bud and Mary's Marina on a 20 foot sea craft. So if you want to come fishing with me, give me a call, shoot me a message. He's like, I done seen some things. He's like, it's been a long night. He's like, oh my God, look at that new EFC gear. Whoa! <laughs> Get out of here. <gasps> you circle hooking mother J hooking. He's gone. I think he's done. That's what you get, right there. You think he got him or he missed him? There go. It's not real wrestling. It's not real wrestling. Real wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your net, Jimmy? Right there. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good day. Hey, we got. It's always a good day. Always a good day. Did good. <laughs> hey, how'd that oh, you go? How'd that? I got, got, got snake, dude. So that eel, I saw him close. You have spin, dude. I'm a. <laughs> 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 That's a big ass mosquito. <laughs> you're right, you're like, I'm stuck at most. Yeah, let's see. Hey, babe. Dude, look at my leg. Baby, bring it Please. in. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, alright. Right? All right. Aren't they worse than. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> Dude there's no wind. Oh. Yeah, creek, no wind, not, not a good product. Right, okay, I right, know, yeah, I'm bringing it in, I'm bringing it in. Nick stands at you. Googan, God, you're a Googan. Hey, Nick.